We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Welcome back guys. Today I wasn't going to record a video, but yesterday I got a call from an old friend, an old Navy friend, uh, Keith, it's, uh, a person that I spent a lot of years working together uh, at Fort Dix, New Jersey at the Naval Reserve Center. And we also got mobilized together and he has some questions about chickens. He recently bought three, uh, three hens and they were supposed to start laying eggs. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, but they haven't yet, and he had some questions about them, and I did record a, a short video, and I sent it to him. However, I decided to repeat some of these uh, things that I recorded for him, for those of you that want to know. Oh, and by the way, today is Sunday, December 11th. It's about 24 degrees outside. It's not too bad. I mean, it, it gets really bad when it goes below zero. 10 below zero, 20 below zero, like last winter. Especially during what November, February. Oh yeah, it's uh, it can get painful here. But anyway, these are some of the things that I sent to my Navy buddy. Um, what kind of grains do I use, or what kind of scratch grains specifically, like a kind of like a snack? Now I used to uh, use these uh, scratch grains. I got them from all from Tractor Supply. It's a 50 pound bag. I believe it's about $18. And now I switched over to cracked corn. Notice the cracked corn is good for chickens, cows, uh, goats, sheep, etc. But these scratch grains are good only for chickens and, and ducks. And like I said, this that's $18. This is about 12 bucks, so it's a little bit cheaper. And I do remember my grandmother, when I was a kid in Puerto Rico, she used to feed her chickens full kernels of corn. And yeah, at least this is cracked. 
And another thing that I give them, well, I used to give them uh, chick grit when they, were, when they were younger, but now I don't. I mean, you can if you want to. I don't now because they get the grit from the ground. Maybe later in the winter when it's snowing and ice on the ground constantly, I may give them grit again. So one thing that I do give them now all, every day is oyster shells. I have a small container separate for them where they can get their oyster shells anytime they want. And this, this is something that uh, will make their eggshells a little bit tougher, a little bit harder. How much scratch grains and cracked corn do I give them? I give them about a cup or half of this cup right here. Uh, I give it to them maybe once, twice a day. I mean, sometimes I give it to them twice a day if I get home from work uh, uh, during daylight, but these days I'm getting home at, in, uh, at night. It's already dark and the chickens are inside their coop. But remember, uh, scratch grains or cracked corn, this is like candy to them. Now, for feed, I give them these pellets and this is for egg layers and this is 16% protein the more protein you give them in the winter the better it is for them and I, again I get this from tractor supply and this is specifically for egg layers I also have two feeders I switch them every two or three days so what I do is I almost fill this feeder up in a couple of days and I'll switch it for the one that's out there now. All right, so this is how much snack I give them. Now today, uh, there's a little bit of snow on the ground so I'm not gonna throw it in the ground because they're not gonna be able to see it. And I'm gonna build a trough sometime next week or the week after. Right now I don't have a container where I can uh, feed them to. So I'm going to use this. This is an old chicken water. And that way they can see it. And I'm going to take it over to them. All right, guys. As you can see, it is snowing a little bit here today. We're supposed to get about three inches. And yeah, I don't mind it. Chickens don't. Now, most of the time, the chickens are outside. I do leave my coop open 24-7. Um, I don't lock it. I do have this electric fence and coyotes and raccoons and foxes cannot get in normally my chickens are outside whether it's ice and snow but today for some reason they're inside all right they're coming out they know i'm up to something and i have some snack for them you see that if i throw the snack on the ground they won't be able to see it but at least if i have it here they can see it then they can eat all right, only two. I have 14. Uh, only two came out. So this fence prevents the foxes and the raccoons from going in. And I have this charger here. And I have this solar panel that charges a battery. Yeah, I have to come out here and clean it up every now and then today. Let me turn it off so I can go in and feed them. Well, they already have a lot of feed. So I'm just gonna give them a snack. All right, guys. Yeah, it's a snack. They're not used to eating their snack from that container. But if I were to throw it on the ground, it would be hard to see. So as some of you know, I bought this chicken coop from Tractor Supply. This is called an easy chicken coop. And it's a dual window. You got this big door on the side, five net, net boxes on the front, and they say that this coop is good for, well, this coop is good for 15 chickens, but I feel that's uh, a little bit too small. I think it's probably better for like uh, 10, maybe 12 max, because they, I feel like they're a little bit crowded inside and they like to peck each other. So let me go in and take a look. Yeah, this is rare. I've never seen most of them inside. Oh, and one of them laid an egg. Not in the uh, nest box. He laid it outside the nest box. That's, that's different. This chicken here is a Barnavelder. And that one too is a Barnavelder. 
Uh, the red one, it's a nicer brown. This is a black Australorp. Black Australorp. Now, the Iso Browns, they lay eggs quite frequently, almost one a day, 350 eggs a, a year. The Australorps, they lay about 300 to 325 eggs a year. Now, the, uh, the uh, Barn of Elders, the, the two in the back, they only lay um, about 150 eggs a year. One, maybe one egg every three days. And when I got these chickens, they all started laying at different uh, times of the year. Like uh, this one only took four months from birth to to their first egg. Only took four months to lay their egg. That one took about five. The Australorp, but the Barnevelders, they can take up to eight months to start laying their first eggs. Oh, and my two roosters are Wyandotte. The same with this chicken. That's a Golden Lace Wyandotte. All right, it's time to, for me to get my eggs. Thanks for breakfast, by the way. This is an Australorp egg, cream colored. This, it's a nicer brown egg. And these two are iso brown eggs. So you see my three iso browns lay today, but only one on my black Australorps. So yeah, the, those are red iso browns. They are egg laying machines, right? You are an egg laying machine. Doesn't matter if it's cold or not. All the others, not so much. And you don't lay eggs because you are a rooster, right? This is a guapo. Okay. <laughs> this is a broody barn of elder. And someone's been pecking the heck out of her. And guys, this is a small chicken run that I built many months ago. And I put that tarp on the side and on top to prevent the snow and ice from going inside. That way they can reach their food. Now, this is the uh, oyster shells. They can eat it as they see fit. And here's one of the feeders. And this is the water. This is a heated chicken water. I have an extension cord, 200 foot extension cord all the way up to the house. You can't see it because of the snow. And yeah, right now, like I said, it's about 24 degrees and the, and the water is not frozen. So the instructions say that it'll keep it from freezing down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Not sure what's gonna happen at zero or 10 below or 20 below. I think it's gonna freeze, but then I'll take all the precautions. I leave the food and water out here. I don't want it inside the coop because the coop is kind of small. And the problem with having food inside of a chicken coop is, you know, chickens are a little bit messy and they're gonna spill some of their food into the ground, onto the floor, and then you may have a, a mice or rat problem. But by keeping it outside, I think it's a little bit better, so. Oh, and by the way, this is a three gallon container. I fill it up once every three days. But make sure that you have water available to your chickens all day long. All right, Lila, you going inside the coop? You going in? You gonna leave me alone? Huh? All right. Okay, about half of them are outside right now. And usually they spend a lot of time under the coop because there's some dirt down there and no snow and they like to take dust baths today i don't know today as you saw earlier they were all inside but my chickens for the most part they roam around this area like i said this is a uh, we have two 100 foot sections of uh, fencing and that's plenty of space for them to roam around and for most of the day, yeah, don't be outside. I don't worry about predators because of the fencing. It's done a great job for the last, what, eight months maybe that I've had this. And I do know that foxes and raccoons come up to the fence and they touch it and scares them away. And that's why I have all of my chickens still here. If it wasn't for this fence, if I let them uh, free range, yeah. And they've all would have disappeared within a week. Hey guys, I noticed that 
the, the broody chicken, someone has pecked the heck out of her, out of her back, uh, out of her vent area, and they drew blood. So I'm going to use this blue coat, which is a wound dressing. And yeah, she's bleeding, so I don't know. Chickens sometimes can be cruel with each other. Hopefully it works. As you can see it's one of my barn builders. Okay. There we go. Alright guys, stop pecking your sister. Wherever it was. And my tractor is gone. And I was going to attach my snowblower to the tractor, but the tractor is gone. It's been gone for two weeks because it was leaking fluid from the coupler. It's only a year old with 25 hours. And yeah, it's under warranty anyway, but it's been two weeks. So hopefully I'll get it soon, but I'm not worried because I have a backup. I have an Arian snowblower inside of my shed and I can use that today if I have to. <sighs> But let's check on the boiler. Now, this thing is a beauty. I'm 180 right now. Ah, uh, you can't see it. But uh, yeah, it's doing a good job. It's off right now, but once that goes down to 174, it'll turn on again. It's 180 now, so. Yeah, I got tons of wood. I have enough wood. For this winter season once the temperature drops to below zero i'll be burning way more than i am now but i got tons there i got a bunch there and a bunch back there notice i put my splitter down there because it's easier to have the splitter where all that wood is instead of bringing the wood up here so yeah it just makes it a little bit easier and that down there was heavy I mean, I had the splitter here next to this wood, but yeah, that stuff was he even heavier than this, so that's why I put it down here. So, all right, guys, I was just ah, oh, that was my rooster. Um, that was a quick video. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Even in the hot time.